Okay, here's my really simple little version of uh, Laser Saber's Jewel Ringer 3.0 circuit. Uh, this has turned out to be a, a pretty good little circuit for me to light LED 120 volt AC light bulbs. And uh, what I've tried to do here is, is uh, color code his circuit. So off my battery positive, I'm showing the red wire uh, to the coil, or to the transformer rather. And this would be the output side if it was used as a uh, AC to DC transformer. And uh, I've used two different transformers in this test, a uh, Radio Shack uh, center tapped 12 volt and then a uh, 9 volt transformer that I got out of uh, just an AC wall warp power supply. So coming off the battery, I'm showing a red wire going into what would be the output side of that transformer. On the other end of the coil, I'm showing a red wire going to the collector of my 3055 transistor. The what would be the 120 volt side of the coil or the transformer again. Uh, I'm showing green lines. I know they don't show up well, but these are green lines. Uh, one side going to the base of the 3055, the other side going to the light bulb. Off of the collector side is the other leg to the light bulb. And then the negative side uh, from my battery to the emitter of the transformer I'm showing is a black line. So let's look at this. Uh, boy, that's not showing up. Uh, I'll tell you what. Uh, look at this. This is what I've been using to take my lux meter test with. This line I have plugged into the AC and this is what I'm using as a base. This is a 7.5 watt uh, Utilitech light bulb. And when I took my readings, I read 21,900 lux. Uh, it looks like it's reading 21,800 now. But we're going to stick with the 21.9. So I'm going to put this light. Yeah, here we go. We can see this a little better. So the two heavy wires on that, on that transformer would be where the 120 AC would go in. On uh, one of those wires, uh, as the diagram showed, I'm going to the base of that 3055 transistor. The other green wire right now is, is not connected, but that will go to the light bulb. The black wire on the collector, I'm sorry, on the emitter of that 305, 3055 is going to the negative of my battery. And this is a 12 volt 5 amp hour battery. It, it's uh, not fully powered right now. Okay, on the uh, positive side of the battery I'm going through my amp meter. And from the amp meter I'm coming to the other leg, the uh, output, what would normally be the output side of this transformer. And uh, this is a, uh, a 9 volt transformer. Uh, this is the one I had had my best, best luck with. So let's go ahead and uh, hook. There's, there's my light bulb. And I'm going to go ahead and hook this up to that light bulb. <laughs> Excuse me. And there, there it goes. Okay, on my voltmeter on the battery, it's reading about 9.7574. Like I said, this one's pretty low, not holding very well. It'll, it'll drop. Uh, it should start holding right around there. Okay, uh, on my current that I'm pulling, uh, about 330, 340, something like that milliamps. And again, there's, there's the light output. Okay, I'm going to change this out real quick. I've got two little 1.2 bulbs. And 
And I'm going to go ahead and connect, connect that up. There we go, and it's, uh, you can see it's, it's going pretty good as well. Uh, but my current now is, has dropped down to about 200 milliamps. Uh, at, at that voltage, that's a little bit less than 2 watts uh, of power being consumed. And this, uh, these are each 1.2 watt bulbs, uh, so 2.4 watts together. And uh, I'm drawing just a little under two watts. Okay. I took some lux meter readings that I thought were, were kind of interesting. Uh, again, I'm, I'm using the 120 volt as the baseline. Six volt, I was getting 13,000 lux. At nine volts, 7,200. At 12 volts, 400. On my current, For the 6 volt, I was pulling 7.16 watts, 3.08 watts using the 9 volt connection, and 0.26 watts with the 12 volt connection on the Radio Shack transformer. When you compare the light output to the current use, and again, I'm using the 120 volt AC as the baseline. I'm saying that's a 100% for the light output to the power input. Running on the 6 volt DC, I'm getting about 62.2%. On the 9 volt DC, I'm getting about 80.2% efficiency. That's my best reading. On the uh, 12 volt connection, I'm getting about 52.73% efficiency. So none of these connections are getting me near close to uh, just what plugging into the wall gives me. But they, it does give me very usable light. I'm going to connect this back up again. Okay. And I'm going to turn the lights out here so bear with me just a second okay so you can see now with with my light I'm, I'm getting some pretty pretty good light here uh, certainly enough to to work by uh, I think this might blind out my camera uh, but as you can tell uh, even though that's about 80 percent efficient of what it would be plugged into the AC outlet, that's still pretty neat. And uh, one transistor, one transformer, battery, and a light bulb. Uh, so that's about as simple as it gets. Hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching.